Welcome back to Bear Credit. Today, we're trying a beer that I have never tried. It's a German beer called Bex. I've actually never tried this either. The only experience or anything I have at all with this beer is, of course, Beer Fest. Un, un, Bex. Un, un Bex. Un Bex. <laughs> So when we saw it, we had to try it. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's, like I said, it was originally made in Germany, but it was, was sold a few years ago to the company that also owns Anheuser-Busch. So in the in America, it is sold by Anheuser-Busch. So we'll give it a shot. You know. Ah, how nice. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome, sir. Let's give her a pour. Notice very, it's coming out very, very clear. Very clear. Out of the bottle. That is really, really light. That is very, very light, you know. Is this supposed to be a light beer? I, not that I'm aware of. But it doesn't say Bex light on it or anything. No. Very, very st strong smell to it, though. It's hoppy. It's hoppy. I can't smell it. It has that hoppy, um, and has a bush smell. Yeah. Now, full disclosure, I forgot to say this on our previous video, the first one that we did for this channel. Just so everybody knows, on my opinions, they're going to be very, very odd. I was actually in a rather bad accident a few years ago. I have no sense of smell unless it's a really, really god-awful heavy scent. And I have a very weird uh, sense of taste now. It, it messed all of that up. <laughs> so, you're going to hear me say things like, I can't smell it or I don't taste that quite often. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> it dissipates very quickly. But... Cheers, fuckers. Give her a shot. Definitely a lot of hops. It's, um... It has a kind of bitter, like, grab your throat aftertaste that I, I kind of don't care for in a lot of beers. Yeah, it's got a... Definitely, definitely some bitterness there. However, you said this was made by Anheuser Busch. Yeah. That makes me really not surprised by the bitterness. That kind of, that's kind of a trademark. <laughs> there, seems to be. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's... That is definitely not something I would drink on the regular. It's not something I would order. It's not something I would spend money on again myself. No, it's one of those, you know, if you're out with a buddy or something, they offer to buy you a beer and that's what they bring back. You're going to drink it. I mean, yeah. Not one of those that you're going to order for yourself. No. No. <laughs> As you already know, you guys don't. He does. If I'm ordering a beer for myself at a restaurant, depending upon whether it's on tap or out of a bottle, if it's on tap, I'm probably going to go with Anhe or, uh, Anheuser, Jesus, Amber Bach. If it's in a bottle, I'm probably going to get a Corona. What are you doing? Amber Bach in bed. I like that one. But, yeah. Is princess, by the way. <laughs> what if she's gonna be in the video? I ought to introduce her. <laughs> it, like, like I said, again, I can't smell this one. Very strong. Lots of. Definitely smell of hops and all kinds of. Almost perfumey. It's weird. Now, I have to say. The initial flavor, when you first take a sip of this beer, it does have a very pleasant 
flavor. It does have a very refreshing flavor. Oh, that yeah. bitterness doesn't hit you until the aftertaste. Yeah. But it's so bitter that it takes your breath away. <laughs> it, all of the refreshing nature that it has is just gone as soon as that aftertaste hits you. Mm. Lose two world wars, you're going to get a little bitter, you know. True enough. <sighs> True enough. Like I said, if, was, if someone gave it to me, I'd drink it, but it's not one I would go out and buy myself. You know? Agreed. Um, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not god awful. No, it's not god awful. I've, I've had worse. <sighs> I've had Keystone. I'll shoot you better than that. I got Keystone Ice through a beer bong. <laughs> that, yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> this is better. Yeah. I was okay with that, though. I was already drunk. Oh. <laughs> Once you're drunk and get past a certain point, it don't matter. <laughs> like, that piss? Well, fuck, I'll drink it. <laughs> yeah, that bad night, long story. If there was tequila involved, get off me. <laughs> That's how he met his first wife. Sadly close to accurate, that was actually rum. Not tequila, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember years ago, they had clear bottles of rum, vodka, and tequila at Walmart. They were ten dollars for a half gallon. There was no brand name clear bottle. It just had a star on the front and said vodka <laughs> or rum or yeah. It was one of those nights. Fuck. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> well, any closing statements on this one? I don't have anything else to say about it. It's not bad. Honestly, the more I drink of it, the less of that bitter aftertaste is hitting me each time. However, at the same time, as it warms up, that kind of pleasant beginning flavor is going away. Yeah. So, the aftertaste isn't quite as bad as it was to begin with, but the foretaste, the initial... <coughs> The initial flavor when it hits your tongue <coughs> is nice. That just isn't. It isn't there for me. It, it, it's not a beer that I would drink. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't seek this one out myself. No. Um, Sorry, Germany. That one just doesn't do it for me. I've tried other German beers that. Are much much better. There are very good German beers out there, but I, Bex, sorry, that's not it. I'm sorry. I don't think we can. This is not a German beer. No. This was a German beer. This was probably a pretty good German beer, but just like every other product that Anheuser Busch has ever bought, they fucked it up. Yeah. They Bent it over, made it grab its German angles, and just <coughs> butt fucked it. Pretty much. They made it taste like every other Anheuser Busch product they have. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Hush. Well, I guess that's it. So. Well, we'll see you again soon, and just like always, remember the only people that are stupid enough to drink and drive should go join the rest of their ilk with Antifa. Good night, everybody.